So I'm working on my design here inside of Illustrator and I'm thinking I would like to update this green color. Okay, so if I select one of these elements just here, I can see in the swatches panel, it's filled with this green color just here. Okay, I'm going to double click on that swatch to open up the swatch options. Let's turn on the preview and let's make a color change. Okay, so this is interesting. This object here that I had selected, its color is going to change. The swatch, which I just double clicked on, it's going to change as well. But notice none of the other elements that use that color are going to change. What's going on? Well, guys, if you want to be able to change a swatch and have that color update across every object that used it within your document, you first have to turn it into a global color. And that's what this little checkbox is just here. So I'm going to cancel out of here. And actually, I'll just deselect everything. And let's go and double click on that swatch again. Let's activate the global option and choose OK. Now visually nothing's changed out here, but notice within the swatches panel, there is a little tiny white triangle that showed up in the bottom right corner. That's Illustrator letting you know that this is a global swatch. So let's go and double click on that swatch and let's turn on preview and let's make a change. Now nothing's changed out here because remember guys, I said you have to first turn your swatch into a global color and then use it. And only then can you take advantage of that cool functionality. So I'll cancel out of there. We've turned this into a global swatch. So I'm going to go and select all of those elements, apply our swatch, our global swatch to that fill. So now I'll click away, nothing is selected. Let's double click on that swatch, turn on preview and make a change. And fantastic, wherever that color is used, it is now updated. And if I had used that color in literally hundreds or thousands of places across multiple artboards, that would update instantly everywhere. Uh, one last little parting tip here for you guys. Uh, it can often be a great idea to turn your swatches into global colors before you actually start designing. So you can see that would be a tedious process if you had to do one at a time. If you hold down your command or your control key, you can select a discontiguous range of swatches, or if you use your shift key, you can select a big range of swatches. Having done so, if you come down to the swatch options button at the bottom of the swatches panel, click on that, activate the global option, choose OK, you can see all of those swatches have now been turned into global colors. So that's our global swatches here inside of Illustrator, guys. I hope that helps you with your designing. Catch you later.